this is what I love so much in this writing. And if you, if, this is my favorite takeaway for, for this Sunday, among others. You say it is possible to go beyond religion and become a prayer. Oh, yes. I just, the idea Look, of le- becoming yeah. a prayer. Yeah. How do we do that? Well, you just know it. I mean, you, you know the presence of God. That whole notion, then, of, of becoming a prayer mm-hmm. is, is, this, is this notion of becoming a filter that sees God in everything. Mm. Right here in front of your face. This is, this is the God, this is the God moment. This is the God consciousness in you. Sometimes that comes through prayer, formal prayer, regular prayer, mm-hmm. ritual prayer. Sometimes it comes through another person. You say, I've never seen anybody like that. Mm-hmm. This, this is amazing. Sometimes it comes through responsibility. This is my child and I have been given this child to raise well. Sometimes it comes through a ministry. I am doing this. Yes, I, I, I'd like to be paid more. I'm not being paid as much, but I know I belong here because this is my gift and I'm touching people the best I can. That's the prayer power. And that, that, that is your becoming of prayer. And that's the filter through which you see the world. You know Rob Bell from his New York Times bestselling books, Love Wins, and what we talk about when we talk about God. Time Magazine has called him one of the most influential people in the world. And this We've all had moments in our personal or professional lives when it becomes difficult to stay motivated. Erica Diamond is with us to share how to stay inspired. She's a life coach and the founder and editor-in-chief of the highly successful blog, Women on the Fence.